in my previous videos in this chapter, the focus has been on equations and the graphs of equations. And we're working with y equals mx plus b form, specifically y equals mx plus b. And we've talked about slopes and points and intercepts and graphs and things like this. In this video, I want to look at graphing inequalities. So that's the greater than, the less than, the greater than or equal to, and the less than or equal to. So in this video, I'm just going to go through four or five examples in which I graph a linear inequality. Now we know there's a couple of differences between an equation and an inequality. And one of the differences is, is in the solution set. So when you're graphing an equation, every point on the line is a solution. So the line is basically a picture of all the answers to that equation. With an inequality, it's going to involve a two-dimensional region in the xy plane. So it's going to involve some shading. But the way we, you know, the majority of the process in graphing an inequality is very, very similar to graphing an equation. So we're going to solve for y, find the slope, find the y-intercept, the same thing we've been doing with graphing equations. And there's going to be one, one additional step at the end to take into account the inequality symbol. So step one, solve for y. So let's subtract 2x from both sides of this inequality. And that will give us y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 1. And so what we're going to do is we're not going to consider this inequality. We're going to consider the equation. So how do we graph y equals negative 2x plus 1? Well, we know the slope is negative 2. So that tells us the slope is negative 2. Well, we'll write that as a fraction, so negative 2 over 1. And this is the y-intercept, so we know that the point 0, 1 is on the graph. Okay, so we have the slope and we have a point. So let's start with that. The point is 0, 1. And the slope is negative 2 over 1, so that means we go down 2 over 1. And so there's a second point. Okay, so we have the line. And uh, in terms of graphing the line, the or equal to part is the line itself. The, the, the greater than is above the, the region above the line. The less than is the region below the line. The equal to part is the line itself. So when you're, when you have, so let's, let's just give a little uh, generalization here. When you have y is greater than or equal to mx plus b, or y is less than or equal to mx plus b, you're going to graph a solid line because the or equal to means the line itself. But if you have y is greater than, strictly greater than mx plus b, or you have y is less than mx plus b, you're going to graph a dotted line. So these two have a dotted line. The ones with the or equal to have a solid line. So in this case, it's y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 1. So remember, this is this is what we're graphing overall. So to graph that, we start off by graphing the line. And in this case, we're using a solid line. And now, because of the inequality symbol, which is less than or equal to, we shade everything below that line. So every point on the line or below the line is a solution to this inequality. So for example, let me just pick a point at random. Let me pick two points at random. Let me pick this one right here. That's the point negative 6 and positive 1. And then let me pick this point which is on the graph. 
and that's the point negative one comma three. So we have these two points. And actually, let me, let me pick one more point over here, which is not in the shaded region. And that's the point five one. So the point negative six comma one, let's start with that one. So plug those two numbers in for X and Y. So if it's a solution, you should get a true statement. And if it's not a solution, you should get a false statement. I'm saying negative six comma one is a solution because it's in that shaded area. So if we plug that in, negative six for X and, and one for Y, we would get one is less than or equal to negative two times negative six plus one. Negative 2 times negative 6 is 12, and 12 plus 1 is 13, so we get 1 is less than or equal to 13. Yes, that is true. So the point negative 6 comma positive 1 works. It's a solution. That's a point in the shaded region. Second, that point right here, negative 1 comma 3, that's on the line. So negative 1 comma 3, so x is negative 1, y is positive 3. So y equals mx plus b, or y is 3, is less than. So I'm using, you know, just so there's clarification, I'm using, I'm plugging these into that equation. 3 for the y, negative 2 times x, so that's negative 2 times negative 1, plus 1. 3 is less than or equal to, 2 plus 1, which is 3. 3 is less than or equal to 3. Well, true, because 3 is equal to 3. Check. So now if I look at that third point, the one that's not in the shaded region. So remember, the shaded region is the solution set. So that 5 comma 1, so if x is 5 and y is 1, what happens? Well, Plug in the oops, plug in the one for y is less than or equal to negative two times x plus one, or one is less than or equal to negative two times five is negative ten. Add one to that, you get negative nine. Now is negative one or sorry is one less than or equal to negative nine? No, it is not. So that's why this point right here is not a solution. This point is a solution. This point is a solution. Now this is not something you have to do for every problem and it's something I'm only gonna do for this first problem, but this is just, I'm not just showing you the solutions here. I'm sort of explaining also why some points are solutions and some points are not. And so when we go through the process of graphing and shading, any of the points in that shaded area are solutions and any points not in that shaded area are not. All right, so let's look at another problem. Let's graph the inequality x x plus 5y is greater than or equal to negative 3. So again, we'll do the same thing. Put it in y equals mx plus b form. So let's subtract x from both sides. We want to get y by itself. So we'll have 5y is, less, is greater than or equal to negative x minus 3. And then divide both sides by 5. Divide by 5. So that will give us y is greater than or equal to negative one-fifth x minus three-fifths. All right, so what we want to do is we want to graph the line y equals negative one-fifth x minus three-fifths. So we know the slope of the line 
negative 1 over 5. The y-intercept is the point 0, comma, negative 3 fifths. Okay, so negative 3 fifths, it's a little bit less than negative, or a little bit uh, more than negative 1, so between 0 and negative 1, so somewhere right around there. So that's the point 0, comma, negative 3 fifths. And the slope is negative 1 over 5, so down 1 over 5, so that would put us right about there. All right, we're just looking for the graph. We don't need to know what the actual point is. If we wanted to, we could. And again, this is a or equal to, so it's a solid line. So we'll graph the line. And since this is essentially what we're trying to graph, it includes a greater than, greater than means above, so we have the line, and we also have all of these points above the line. So that shaded area, as well as the line, is the graph of the inequality. Remember, the inequality is going to be an area, not just a line, but it's going to be a shaded area on the xy plane. All right, let's keep going. All right, so here we have the, the inequality, y is greater than 2x. Okay, so what we're going to do is graph y equals 2x. And since there's no y-intercept, let's just put a plus 0 there just for like a visual aid. So we have the slope, which is 2. So let's write that as 2 over 1. And the y-intercept is 0, so we have the point 0, comma, 0. So there is our y-intercept. The slope is 2 over 1, so up 2 units over 1 unit. Up 2 over 1, there's our slope. And now this is what we're graphing. It's not an equal to, so there's no or equal to there. So we graph this using a dotted line. That means, the dotted line means the, there's no or equal to, so the, the points on the line are not included in the graph. But it's greater than, so we're graphing above, above the line. All right, so that does it for number three. There's a couple more on here. Now, number four is slightly different because there's going to be one extra step here. Because what we know about inequalities, when you're solving an inequality, there's something we have to keep in mind. So we're solving for y. So let's get rid of the 3x on the left. So we'll subtract 3x from the right. So we've got negative 4y is greater than negative 3x minus 12. And now we have to get y by itself, so divide by negative 4. And what we know about inequalities, if you multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, you have to change the direction of the inequality symbol. So this is going to be y is less than, we divided by a negative 4, so we change the direction. y is less than 3 fourths times x, so the negative 3 and the negative 4, the two negatives cancel. And then negative 12 divided by negative 4, that will be a positive 3. All right, so we want to graph the line. y equals 3 fourths x plus 3. So we know the slope of that line is 3 over 4. And the y-intercept, the graph hits the y-axis at 3, so we have the point 0 comma 3. So we'll start with the point. And the slope is 3 over 4. So up 3. 1, 2, 3. Over 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's our point. And again, we're not graphing the line, we're graphing the inequality. But we're using what we know about lines. It's less than, so there's no or equal to there. So we graph this with, again, a dotted line. 
and it's less than, so we shade below the line. Okay, so that shaded area is the graph of 3x minus 4y is greater than negative 12, or we rewrote it in slope intercept form. Either way. Okay, and then finally, just like we saw with lines, there are those two special cases, which is the horizontal line and the vertical line. So same thing is true with the inequalities. So what does the line x equal 1 look like? Well, we know that x equals 1 means all the points where the x value is 1. So here's 1 on the x-axis. So all these points have an x value of 1. Okay, And it's an or equal to there. So we're graphing a solid line that goes through the x-axis at positive 1. And now there's no above or below because it's a vertical line. There's only the, the left or the right. Since it's since we're graphing the inequality, x is greater than or equal to. The or equal to is the vertical line. The greater than means it's x values greater than 1. So in this case, we're going to shade everything to the right. Okay, so I think I covered all the bases, the greater than, the less than, the greater than or equal to, the less than or equal to, and the vertical line. So hopefully uh, this is helpful with uh, the upcoming homework. Okay, that's it for now.